Hello everyone, and welcome to my General Hospital YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribers button and give this video a thumbs up. Laura Collins at GIE will become enraged during a meeting with Portia Robinson and wonder how the medical staff could have overlooked this. Perhaps the current state of affairs would be less serious if Lulu's liver problem had been discovered sooner. When in captivity, Lucky Spencer will go to any lengths to ensure his survival and the safety of those he cares about. He H. Hewers will ultimately find out more about Lucky's predicament and how he got into such a difficult situation, so keep checking back. Robert Scorpio will be informed by Anna Devine that they need to locate Valentin Cassidy before Jack Brennan discovers their whereabouts. That might be easier said than done, of course, given Brennan's cunning personality and his seeming need to know more than he's revealing. Carly Spencer will be curious about Brennan's covert objectives. Carly may ask Anna for details and worry that her best friend would become involved in further trouble since she will be curious about what Brennan wants from Jason Morgan. Additionally, Brennan will speak with someone about a shared interest, which could refer to his impending meeting with Jason and an opportunity to clarify his enigmatic motivations. Whatever the situation, it appears that Brennan's interest in Carly goes beyond a simple crush. Although Carly appears to be appealing to Brennan, Part of the reason he may be drawn to her could also be due to her relationship with Jason. The last thing Jason needs is to become embroiled in another tumultuous situation after being dragged into the FBI debacle by John Jagger Cates. We'll provide our predictions for all the twists and turns Brennan is concocting because General Hospital spoilers indicate that his ambitions at the WSB could potentially be problematic. Spoilers for General Hospital indicate the revelation that Christina Corinthos Davis intended to file a lawsuit to gain custody of his child would not go over well with T.J. Ashford. Molly Lansing Davis must have experienced a wave of emotions when she saw the documents in her mother's briefcase, indicating that she was assisting Christina in mapping everything out. Even so, T.J.'s feelings would undoubtedly still be far worse because he was the one who questioned Christina's sincerity about acting as their surrogate, and because he was the only one who dared to criticize Alexis Davis for giving Christina more support than he liked. However, Molly has always been torn, occasionally feeling compelled to stand up for her sister. Having personally witnessed the truth, will TJ's unwavering desire to take legal action be the final straw that ends their relationship, or will she support him throughout? To be honest, Molly doesn't have any legal claim to the deceased child, Irene Marie. Even though she had planned to be her mother, after the baby was delivered and died very soon, the paperwork was never completed. In legal terms, Christina and TJ are the child's parents. Thus, Christina had the legal right to file a custody lawsuit against TJ, and her chances of success were quite high. No one ever took her claim that she was acting in the baby's best interests and wanting to keep her in the family regardless of what occurred with TJ and Molly seriously because they weren't in danger of divorcing each other. But will they be now? Since TJ is the child's legitimate biological father, he will need to take action in this matter. Will he turn the tables on Christina and assist FBI Special Agent John Jagger Cates in apprehending her for the baby's murder? Will Molly be up for that? Christina is very much done. She has had several difficulties during her pregnancy, many of which have been brought on by TJ and Molly's arguments and criticism of her. She was devastated, childless, and had to battle for her own life after the accident. Christina was outraged to see that TJ and Molly had named the baby without consulting her, and this was just before Kate's went up at Alexis Davis' apartment to harass her some more. When Molly discovers the custody documents, will her fury and feelings of betrayal cause a major argument between the sisters, which in turn causes TJ to become more hostile toward Christina? If that's the case, we're sure she has more nasty things to say about him and her sister. Was Christina's worry that Molly and TJ might break up all this time a Could sinister port in fighting her family come. and losing the baby ultimately cause them to fall apart? Molly may be able to relate to TJ's situation and perhaps comprehend it, 
but that doesn't mean she won't experience the grief of losing her mother and sister in a virtual sense. In addition to having previously lost his child, TJ won't have to deal with this kind of loss on his end. Might this be the final straw that splits this couple's union in half? To find out, check back for more gay spoilers and news. According to spoilers for General Hospital, Lulu Falconer's part has been recast. On Instagram a few weeks back, Relan verified this. Fans believed at the time that she was simply choosing out, despite her repeated declarations that she wouldn't do so. Indeed, she has made it quite evident on numerous times throughout the years since her character was forced into a coma that Guillé was aware of her readiness and willingness to return whenever they felt it was appropriate. We know she isn't even though we're not sure if they ever gave her the option to come back. Does this imply that a recast is indicating that Lulu will indeed die, or is there still hope for her, considering how sincerely she expressed her desire to in the past? Also, it's not what we have here. The complete truth and nothing but the truth would be great. We don't know whose idea it was to recast this character because we don't know how the conversation between Guiesh and Emmy Ryland transpired. Emmy had plenty of time to reconsider her decision to take this job. She didn't have to inform anyone about that alteration in the situation. Given her family's current circumstances and the fact they departed California some time ago, the retaliation might not be effective. Having said that, it's plausible that Guille merely offered her the opportunity to leave after politely alerting her to their reaction. Rylan expressed her disappointment with a choice, so establishing the notion that Guille made the final decision. It is likely, however, that their inability to reach a consensus on the terms resulted in the ultimate decision. Bobby Spencer passed away a few months ago, and the Spencer family had to say goodbye to her. That was a severe blow, particularly considering that Zeman's cancer was not well known. Long-time Gieke fans everywhere are still deeply saddened by her quick decline and eventual passing. To make matters worse, Luke Spencer's alleged passing in 2022 wasn't that long ago. Adding the loss of her kid to these two mainstays of the Spencer family will Laura Collins up to the task. Despite the very difficult journey Lulu has been on for the past four years, it sounds like there will be a long one ahead for all of us who can't wait to see her wake up. Lucky's sister is supposedly starting to drift away, so he might be spending next week at home with his family, but the recast details mentioned a character named Lauren who had a demeanor similar to Lulu's. We are not likely to see Lauren on screen until October, because filming for that role wasn't supposed to start until September. When Lulu awakens, will she surprise everyone? What do you think? Please share them with us, and don't forget to return daily for more Guiche teasers and news right here. So, what do you guys think about this update? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like my videos, please press like, and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.